In focus today, finding forgiveness after a childhood of trauma. A Portland business owner turned author opens up about her painful years of abuse in a new book. It's already number one new release and bestseller on Amazon, which is really incredible. She's also been featured on the Today Show recently. As Stephanie Thornton Plymail is here. Her book is called American Daughter, and Stephanie, before writing it, you hardly told anyone about your childhood. How, why, how can you chose to kind of keep it a little private? Yeah, for 50 years, I kept everything a secret, and at a certain point, I was just ready to share my story. It was exhausting keeping it all in for so long. So you and your mom went through a period of time where you didn't have any contact uh, yeah. with each other, but she came back into your life at some point. Is that when you started asking her questions and learning more about your childhood, but also hers? Yeah, so she was diagnosed with lung cancer and I was estranged from her because there was a stocking order between us because she was so threatening. So when she was diagnosed with lung cancer, that's when I went in to, to get the answers that I needed. Uh, what happened to me? What happened mm -hmm. to her? How was she so mentally ill? And she had a rough life as well, which is what you she found did. out through that process. Yes. So, yes, she was, um, through the interviewing process, I found out what happened to her, and she was abducted mm -hmm. and gang raped uh, for up to 10 days. And so that's what created her mental illness. What kind of made you, you kind of hit on a little bit, but you kind of wanted some closure. That's kind of what made you want to write this book, right? Yeah, I wanted to know what happened to my mom. I, I didn't even know who my grandparents were at that time. I had n no relationship with any family, so I needed answers. What's your takeaway? Uh, what is your advice to other people who might read your book or um, haven't heard about it before? What's your advice to them? So there's, you know, I went through so much trauma. So I was in and out of foster homes mm -hmm. and abused. And so kind of my takeaway for people and that I'm finding is that they're not alone and then I want them to feel that they have support and that they can share their story. There's a lot of deep things we can't get into in our, our short three minute interview, but what was it like to hear some of the stories your mother was telling you? Well, it actually just shed light on her mental illness, what happened, and we were able to work through and process all the trauma between the two of us after the years of suffering that I had endured. Through that, it was actually a healing journey for us. Your mom unfortunately passed last year, yeah. but uh, your relationship seemed to be pretty strong toward the end of her life. Absolutely. Because I became her guardian and I took care of her and provided for her, at the end of her life, she thanked me for everything I had done for her and she wanted the world to know that we loved each other now. That was her final words. That's beautiful. Well, uh, we played that clip of you on the Today Show. I'm sure that has helped um, no, with, right. with your book, you know, getting <laughs> yeah. notoriety. Where can people learn more and buy the book? So you can buy the book at any retail it's in Barnes & Noble, Target, uh, Amazon, so really any of your favorite retailers. All right, again, Stephanie Thornton Plymail, and the book is called American Daughter. Thanks for taking yeah, the time to talk to us today. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you.